Imagine a legendary Norse figure so mighty and feared that tales of his feats have endured for centuries. This is Ragnar Lothbrok. Emerging from the foggy annals of Norse history and mythology, Ragnar stands as a towering figure, a Viking chieftain, whose legendary exploits have captured our collective imaginations for over a millennium. Ragnar Lothbrok, a name that translates to Ragnar Harry Breaches, is shrouded in a mystic aura. His life, as told in sagas and ancient texts, is a thrilling narrative of audacious raids, epic battles, and mythical creatures. From defeating a giant serpent to leading daring expeditions to England and France, Ragnar's story is nothing short of extraordinary. Yet for all its allure, how much of Ragnar Lothbrok's tale is rooted in fact? The line between historical truth and mythological embellishment is blurred when it comes to Ragnar. His life is intertwined with the age-old Norse sagas, where gods mingle with men, and heroes often possess supernatural powers. Historians and scholars have often grappled with the enigma of Ragnar Lothbrok. Some believe he was a real figure, a legendary Viking king whose deeds were so monumental they slipped into the realm of myth. Others argue that he was a fictional creation, an amalgamation of several historical figures sculpted into a single, awe-inspiring character by the imaginative Norse storytellers. The truth may lie somewhere in between, in the hazy twilight zone where history and mythology converge. Ragnar Lothbrok, whether a man of flesh and blood or a mythical creation, continues to captivate us, his name echoing across the centuries, his legend living on in countless retellings and reinterpretations. As we peel back the layers of his story we are drawn into a fascinating world of Norse culture, a time of seafaring warriors and legendary heroes. We find ourselves questioning the line between fact and fiction, between the man Ragnar Lothbrok might have been and the legend he has become. Now let's delve into the life of the man, the myth, the legend, Ragnar Lothbrok. Born into a world of war and strife, Ragnar's journey began. His early life, shrouded in the mists of time and legend, is a tapestry woven with threads of ambition, courage, and destiny. As the alleged son of a Swedish king, Sigurd Hring, his royal lineage was said to be his first step on the path to power. Growing up, young Ragnar was immersed in the raw and brutal realities of the Viking Age. He was taught to wield a sword, to navigate the treacherous seas, and to understand the intricate politics of the Viking clans. These formative years were the crucible that forged the future king, instilling in him the skills and the mindset needed to rule and raid. Ragnar's rise to power was not a smooth one. His ascension was marked by daring exploits and shrewd maneuverings. His initial raids were not just tests of strength and strategy, but also a display of his leadership and cunning. He targeted wealthy monasteries and coastal towns, places ripe with treasures to fill his longships. His successes on these raids bolstered his reputation, earning him the respect and allegiance of fellow Vikings. His crowning achievement, however, came when he claimed the throne. The saga tells us that Ragnar challenged and defeated the reigning king, Harald Finehair, in single combat. This audacious act marked his ascension to power and solidified his status as a legendary figure. Yet he was not just a king of war, his rule was also marked by periods of peace and prosperity, as he sought to unite the disparate Viking clans under his banner. Ragnar's rise to power was a journey marked by ambition, courage, and strategic brilliance. It was a journey that would see him evolve from a young Viking warrior to a legendary king. His story is one that has survived the ages, a testament to his enduring influence and the indomitable spirit of the Vikings. From a young Viking warrior, Ragnar rose to become a legendary king. With power came ambition, and Ragnar's ambitions knew no bounds. As he grew in power, Ragnar Lothbrok turned his gaze beyond the borders of his homeland. His sights were set on new lands, ripe for the taking, and thus began the era of the Great Raids. The first of these grand expeditions, as chronicled in the sagas, was the Siege of Paris. In the year 845, Ragnar led a fleet of 120 Viking ships up the River Seine. The city of Paris, under the rule of King Charles the Bald, was ill-prepared for the onslaught. Despite the courageous resistance of the Parisians, the city eventually capitulated and Ragnar left with a hefty ransom of 7,000 pounds of silver. But Ragnar's ambitions were not satiated with the spoils of Paris. His gaze turned to the rich and fertile lands of England. The monastic community of Lindisfarne, situated off the northeast coast of England, was one of the first to feel the wrath of Ragnar's raids. The Viking assault was swift and brutal, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. 
This marked the beginning of what is known today as the Viking Age. These raids were not merely acts of plunder, they were strategic moves designed to instill fear and uncertainty among Ragnar's enemies, and they worked. Across Europe rulers scrambled to fortify their cities, their treasuries strained under the weight of the ransoms demanded by the Vikings. The political and social structures of the time were shaken to their core. Ragnar's raids brought a new dynamic to the European scene. They forced the powers of the time to reassess their military strategies, their alliances and even their beliefs. The Viking Age, sparked by Ragnar's ambitious exploits, was a period of great change, a catalyst that would forever alter the trajectory of European history. Ragnar's raids brought both fear and respect, forever changing the course of European history. His name, whispered in hushed tones, became synonymous with both terror and awe. His legacy, etched in the annals of history, is a testament to the power of ambition and the indomitable spirit of the Viking Age. In the midst of chaos, Ragnar sowed the seeds of a powerful dynasty. Indeed, the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok would be incomplete without acknowledging his family, a formidable lineage that shaped the Viking era. Ragnar's marital life is as intriguing as his exploits. In the sagas he is said to have had three wives, his first wife Lagertha, a shield maiden, bore him a son and two daughters. However, it was his second wife, Aslaug, who gave birth to sons who would continue his legacy. Aslaug, a woman of great beauty and wisdom, was the mother of five sons, Ivar the Boneless, Bjorn Ironside, Sigurd Snake in the Eye, Hvitserk, and Ragnald. These sons, each unique in their own ways, carried on their father's reputation as fearsome warriors and leaders. Ivar the Boneless, despite his physical disability, was a master tactician and brutal leader. His cunning and ruthlessness are legendary, and he played a key role in avenging Ragnar's death. Bjorn Ironside, on the other hand, was as formidable in battle as he was in exploration. He is credited with leading raids into Italy and even circumnavigating the Iberian Peninsula. Sigurd's snake in the eye was said to have been born with a mark in his eye resembling a snake coiling around a pupil, a sign of great destiny. Vitserk, known for his fierce loyalty, and Ragnald, the youngest of the brothers, were no less influential in carving out their own stories in the annals of Viking history. These sons, bound by the blood of their legendary father, went on to rule parts of the Scandinavian region, extending the influence of their lineage. They waged wars, led raids, and navigated the political landscape of their time, all under the shadow of their father's formidable legacy. Indeed, the legacy of Ragnar Lothbrok extended far beyond his own lifetime, carried forward by his sons, who etched their own names in the saga of the Vikings. Ragnar's lineage, like his legend, lived on, shaping the course of Viking history. Every legend, no matter how great, meets its end. And so, it was with Ragnar Lothbrok, the legendary Viking hero whose exploits have captivated us for centuries. The tales of Ragnar's demise are as varied as they are dramatic. Yet, one account has stood the test of time, resonating with its chilling details and poetic justice. According to the most popular version, Ragnar met his end at the hands of King Aiella of Northumbria, a formidable adversary. After a failed raid on Northumbria, Ragnar was captured by Aiella, who sought a fitting end for the Viking raider. In a twist of cruel irony, Aiella decided to throw Ragnar into a pit filled with venomous snakes. As the story goes, Ragnar faced his fate with a courage that defined his life. It is said that even as the snakes closed in, the Viking king composed a final death song, a testament to his indomitable spirit. His last words purportedly were, the young pigs would grunt if they knew the fate of the old boar. With Ragnar's death, an era of legendary Viking raids and conquests came to an end, yet his passing was far from the end of his story. Ragnar's sons, incensed by their father's gruesome death, launched a brutal campaign against Aella, ultimately leading to his downfall. Thus, even in death, Ragnar's influence was felt, shaping the course of history long after he was gone. Ragnar's death, like his life, is wrapped in layers of myth and conjecture. Whether he truly met his end in a pit of snakes or died in some other manner is a question that may never be definitively answered. But one thing is certain, Ragnar Lothbrok, in life and in death, was a force to be reckoned with, a figure larger than life itself. As we sift through the annals of history, piecing together the fragments of Ragnar's life, we come to understand one undeniable truth. In death, as in life, Ragnar Lothbrok remained a figure of legend. 
The line between myth and man often blurs when it comes to Ragnar Lothbrok. It's no secret that Ragnar Lothbrok is a figure shrouded in mystery, a legendary Norse chieftain and hero from the Viking Age, but just how much of his tale is rooted in reality? Let's delve into the historical evidence, or lack thereof, supporting the existence of this enigmatic figure. Some historians point to the sagas of the Icelanders and the tale of Ragnar's sons as proof of Ragnar's existence. These medieval texts, written centuries after the Viking Age, vividly depict Ragnar's exploits. Yet these accounts are far from definitive proof. They're brimming with supernatural elements and fantastical events, typical of the saga's storytelling style. So while they offer a captivating narrative, their historical accuracy is often questioned. Others argue that Ragnar might be a composite character, a fusion of several historical figures. This theory suggests that the saga's authors amalgamated various Viking chieftains and warriors into a single, iconic figure. From this perspective, Ragnar Lothbrok becomes less a single man, and more a symbol of the Viking spirit and prowess. The debate among historians is ongoing and complex. Some firmly believe in his existence, citing archaeological findings and foreign chronicles that mention a fearsome Viking chieftain resembling Ragnar. Others remain skeptical, highlighting the lack of concrete evidence and the saga's legendary nature. The truth may lie somewhere in between, Perhaps there was a real man named Ragnar who inspired some of these tales, or maybe the sagas simply borrowed the name for their legendary hero. It's a tantalizing mystery that continues to fuel research and debate. Whether man or myth, Ragnar Lothbrok's legend continues to captivate us to this day. We may never know for certain if Ragnar Lothbrok truly existed, or if he was merely the product of creative storytelling. But one thing is clear. The legend of Ragnar Lothbrok with its tales of adventure, bravery, and ambition, continues to inspire and intrigue us, centuries after the Viking Age. Long after his death, Ragnar Lothbrok's legacy lives on. A legendary Viking hero, his story has transcended the ages, weaving itself into the fabric of our popular culture. From TV shows to books and video games, Ragnar's intriguing saga continues to captivate and inspire people across the globe. You've probably noticed the imprint of Ragnar's tale in modern television. The History Channel series Vikings is perhaps the most notable example, with Ragnar as its central character. His life, filled with daring raids and epic battles, serves as the backbone for the show's gripping narrative, bringing a piece of the Viking era to our living rooms. In literature too, Ragnar's legend persists. A multitude of novels and historical texts reference his exploits, using his tale as a blueprint for their own Viking Age stories. They explore his complex character, his leadership, his courage, and his thirst for adventure, continuing to breathe life into his legend. Even in the realm of video games, Ragnar's influence is undeniable. Games like Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, and The Banner Saga draw heavily from Norse mythology and Viking history. They incorporate elements of his saga, allowing players to immerse themselves in a world reminiscent of Ragnar's time. But beyond the realm of entertainment, Ragnar's story serves a deeper purpose. It is a source of inspiration, a tale of resilience and courage that resonates with many. It reminds us that heroes can be flawed, that they can fail and rise again, stronger than before. It encourages us to push our boundaries, to explore the unknown, and to never back down in the face of adversity. In the end, Ragnar Lothbrok's legacy is not just about the raids, the battles, or the legends. It is about the spirit of adventure, the thirst for discovery, and the courage to face the unknown. It is about the indomitable human spirit that refuses to be tamed. Ragnar Lothbrok, a name that echoes through the ages, reminding us of a time when heroes and legends walked the earth. Ragnar Lothbrok, a saga of a man whose legend transcends time and space. From his humble beginnings to his rise as a fearless Viking leader, his life was a tapestry of epic battles, audacious raids, and an indomitable spirit that left an indelible mark on history. His familial legacy, woven through the threads of his many sons, continues to shape the narrative of the Viking Age. The Great Raids, a testament to his strategic prowess, showcased his uncanny ability to strike fear into the hearts of his enemies. Yet Ragnar's life wasn't just about conquest. His end, shrouded in mystery and intrigue, poses questions that continue to tantalize historians and enthusiasts alike. The debate around the factuality of his existence only adds another layer to the enigma that is Ragnar Lothbrok. A man? A myth? Perhaps a blend of both? In the end, whether we remember Ragnar Lothbrok as a man, a myth, or a bit of both, 
His story will continue to endure, inspire, and captivate us.